so my name is Criza Carla Buliana de Panas, and this time I will be uh, sharing to you or presenting to you the poem entitled Force of Circumstance. And this poem is written by Mr. Jose Maria F. Lacaba. So before we proceed, let's have first the biography of the author. Jose Maria F. Lacaba was popularly known as Pepe Lacaba. He is a Filipino film writer, editor, poet, screenwriter, journalist, and translator. Jose Maria F. Lacaba was born in Cagayan de Oro in 1945 to Jose Monreal Lacaba of Loon, Boholand, Faith Flores from Patero Rizal. He is one of the leading figures in Philippine literature today. He is well known in various fields including creative writing, journalism, editing, and script writing. In 1970, during martial law, Lacaba fought President Ferdinand Marcos and his U.S.-backed military dictatorship. Under the Nome de Plume Rubne Cuevas, Lacaba published his poem, Prometheus Unbound, at Focus, a magazine that had allied itself with the Marcos regime. His poetry collections include Ang Mga Kagilagilalas na Pakikipagsapalaran ni Juan de la Cruz in 1979. Sa daigdig ng kontradiksyon in 1991, sa panahon ng ligalig in 1991, a new edition of his important, highly charged days of these quiet nights of rage in 1982. A reportage of the first quarter's form and the subsequent times have also been released. Jose Lacaba worked with well-known directors like Lino Broca and Mike De Leon in producing films that expose ordinary people's lives that experience poverty and injustice. He continued writing poems and in 1999 was decorated as one of 100 Bayani ng Sine. Lacaba is currently the executive editor of Summit Yes magazine, the sister publication of PEP. His screenplay credits include Jaguar, which completed at the Cannes International Film Festival in 1980, while Bayan Ko, Kapit sa Patalim, competed in 1984. Ora Pronobis was screened out of competition in 1989. Ricky Lee co-wrote Jaguar with Lacaba. In honor of Lacaba for being the 2008 Lifetime Achievement Awardee, the classic film Bayan Ko was screened as closing film of Decada Cine Manila. According to Anima Aguilus, the daughter of Directicoy and festival programmer of Cine Manila, Bayan Ko could be found in Toronto, Canada. Now, let's have the characters of the poem. We have Marites, son of the congressman, and his gang. Now, Let's talk about the poem. Force of Circumstance by Jose Maria F. Lacaba. When Marites was kidnapped by the son of a congressman, the stars flickered like fireflies and the moon was full. When Marites was taken to Nova Liches, the wind was dancing with the tall grass and the cicadas whistled nervously. Four members of his gang accompanied the son of a congressman. In his new Mustang and Marites look like Susan Rosses. The, the gang ripped off of expensive pants suit that a gay designer had made for Marites. An earthquake was rocking Manila and the kids were demonstrating at the embassy. When the gang caressed the panties of Marites and pulled out her tampax, Tear gas was crawling on the streets of San Palo and Susan Rosses was recommending Luxo in TV. Four members of his gang accompanied the son of a congressman in the midst of the tall grass and five young men mounted Marites. When the five, five young men had vented their hot blood on the bleeding wheel of the ex-virgin, they lighted imported cigarettes and burned the pubic hair of Marites. Four members of his gang accompanied the son of a congressman in his new Mustang. And Marites now looked like Bella Flores. Marites was released by the son of the congressman. Her boyfriend got drunk 
and the papers she reared with glee, and the cops jerked themselves off. Mr. Congressman is set to run in the coming election. Let us not forget him. Now let's talk about the theme of the poem. A son of a congressman and his friends gang raped and tortured a movie's starlet with the exemption from punishment given by the political office that shows the violence that made by the empty formalism of the political institutions. Force of Circumstance Analysis the poem is all about a woman named Marites, whose face was likened to two famous personalities, namely Susan Rosses and Bella Flores. It talks about the fate that Marites suffered under the hands of the congressman's son and his friends. She was taken on a starry night in an abandoned place in Novaliches. She was violated by five men in a deserted open field. She was punished on her genital part, but was later on free. Her boyfriend was not able to accept what has happened to her, and so he drowned himself with alcohol. Her story was exposed by the media, but the police did not do anything about it. The poem is a reflection of how the influential people cover up their filthy actions through their power and wealth. Marites was not given the justice that she deserves because the people, despite knowing the truth, did not do anything to solve it. In the beginning of the poem, she was compared to the beauty of Susan Rosses, who acts as the protagonist in her films. It is a stereotype that the lead role possesses very good qualities but is quite weak and gullible, which resembles her. She wasn't able to escape the persons who want to take advantage of her, but later, she was likened to Bella Flores, who is well known for her villain roles. The twist has happened because she served as a threat to the image of the congressman and his family. She was treated as the suspect even if she is the real victim. And possibly, the police were bribed to preserve the reputation that the congressman is taking care of. Since he will be running for a political position, it is of great importance for him to maintain a good image to the public. Thus, the poem subject is very realistic. It gives the readers a vivid awareness of what is really happening in the society. It is does not cover up the dirty deeds of the people regardless of their wealth, power, and influence. And it does not only entertain, but it also teaches the readers a moral lesson about life. From the simple story of Marites, we can be aware that the people tend to manipulate or cover up the truth. It is one of the major concerns in the society we are living in today. The influential people remain to be at the top due to their wealth and power, leaving the poor powerless and oppressed. Now, let's talk about the moral lesson we could learn from the poem. Moral lesson. The people themselves must choose good leaders because appointing people who has a bad plan for the society is an injustice to the people. presentation so i hope that you have learned something from what i have shared thank you for listening and may god bless everyone